For reasons I'm not going to go into right now, I have had to manually highlight bunches of cells in spreadsheets lately uh, in a number of different colors. And I've found it a bit um, tiresome and frustrating because you know you select the cells you want to do and then you go up here to the fill color and you choose the fill color and you come down here and you pick it and um, sometimes it works, sometimes you, you miss the color and pick the wrong color and you've got to go and change it, it's just a real pest. And I was thinking, well, there must be something I can do with the keys or whatever. Um, we've got them over here. We've got these sort of um, highlighting different things here. But again, if you want more than that selection, you've got to, or a different selection, you've got to hit the drop down menu to get into this. So that didn't really seem to be a big improvement. Uh, so I thought, why not um, create a macro? And a macro is just really a set of instructions that you give the computer to do something. And you make that macro and then you can attach it to a key stroke so that the, you hit the key and it does it. So I'll show you how to make a macro. For some reason they're in view on uh, this version of Excel. So over here you can see macros. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to click on record macro. And I'm going to name this macro um, yellow. So I've given it a name, now I'm going to assign the shortcut to it. And you can use any letter on the keyboard for this. But the downside of it, of course, is if you are putting in um, Control and A, then that would take the place of what Control A already does, which is select all. Um, or if you did Control C, you know, you'd get rid of Control copy. But note that's a lowercase a. If I hold down Shift A, to make a capital A, then that's fine. It's not going to impinge on anything else. It's not used for anything else. So I'll go, OK. So it's currently recording. You can see there's a little stop button down here. If I mouse over it, it says a macro is currently recording. But I'm not telling it to do anything yet, so that's not a problem. So I'm going to tell it to highlight the whatever cells I've got um, highlighted there to make them go a different color. So use my picker, and uh, I called it yellow, so let's make it yellow. OK, that's really all I want it to do. So now I'm going to click Stop. And I have created a macro that does that now. So if I move my mouse over here now and I hold down um, Control Shift A, it makes it yellow. Isn't that great? So what I have done uh, is actually um, made that row there um, into the colours I want to use. And you know you can put them into a logical order, or if, if you're repeating the order that you're doing, you can just have you know A S D F G across the keyboard in the order that you like to have them in, or you could have them named by their first name. So I could have made that Control Shift Y for yellow, if that works better for you. It's up to you. Um, one thing I will advise you to do though is to make a macro the same same way for no fill as well, so that you can quickly erase um, large numbers of cells. Uh, so there you have it. If you've never made a macro before, it's a really good way to make a simple macro. And if you, like me, for whatever reason, have to do a large amount of highlighting, you can now use that to do that. Hope that's helped.